Hey Aries, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for June 21st to the 22nd of 2023. All right, let's get stuck. As soon as I start, the dog barks. Like, shut up. <laughs> All right, next 48 hours for Aries. I might have to close the window, y'all, but we gonna see. Okay, he's never made that noise before. We got 18 tree, let them go. 27, which justice is coming. Ooh, so this is like your spirit guide to like fall back. We got this. So this could be anyone. So I feel like it's more so not you. Some of you could be cutting a person off, but it's more so telling you to fall back and let them handle the situation. Cause like the situation is about to be taken care of. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, lioness, 13. You've already earned all your stripes. So spirits like, sit back. We got this one. I don't even think I need this right here. But I'm going to keep it. Because these cards are like sitting up on their own. But two, evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. Yeah, so I feel like it could be anyone in your life right now, whether it be family, friend, work, or love. There's someone in your life who's treating you less than you deserve, probably trying to get over on you or take advantage of you in some way, shape, or form, right? And Spirit said, let it go. Let them go. Step back. Sit back. They got this one. All right, so I'm going to pull out the tarot cards and see what this is. Let me write this down. They said, sit this one out. This could be an actual person telling you to sit this one out. I got it. Or it could be, you know, in the spiritual and watch how it plays out. Let's get into the tarot for Aries. It's 48 hours for Aries. I'm noticing the sword in her closet. Yeah, Justice. So it could be a Libra involved. We have Linus. So, of course, Leo. Um... Could be any sign though. Death card, Scorpio. Six of Cups. Could be someone um, from your past or someone you have history with or children with. Put it where it goes for you. Knight of Wands. Page of Swords. So it's somebody you had a like a short-term fling with or someone who's like in and out of your life. Some of you, I got custody battle heavily for a second. Like custody battle came to me. So that's for somebody. But it's someone you could have ended a relationship with in and out of your life or you had a short-term thing with. They're spying on you for some reason. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So it could be a Virgo towards Capricorn. I feel like you're just a very stable person when it comes to finances. This person knows that you're very stable or you're a good homemaker or something like that. I feel like you're being freed from something with that Knight of Wands energy. You're like you're freed from your past. You've gone through like a death and rebirth type of energy. You've released a significant amount of energy from your past or childhood. Yeah, I feel like you feel like a huge weight is lifted. You may be releasing a lot of like fluids and things from yourself. I don't know if you're like going through a cleanse or a fast or a purge of some kind, but I feel like it's like this emotional or mental release is like showing physical signs of that so it could be like you know drinking a lot of fluids or you know i don't want to get too graphic but you know what i mean <laughs> all right so let's clarify Clarifying the death card is the three cups, page of wands. So there's someone here. I see you celebrating, feeling free again. 
Yeah, I just feel like you've ended a significant period of your life. You're you're no longer there mentally or emotionally. You've freed yourself from it. You've released it. You let it go. And I feel like you're celebrating that. There could be a, um, someone you ended things with that wants to reunite with you, but I feel like it's over for you. Yeah, with the page of wands, you're just free. You're ready to try new things, meet new people. Clarifying the six of cups is the five of cups. Yeah, so someone from your past is disappointed. I feel like you've released past disappointments. You've let that go. With that death card being the first card out, this your reading is about endings and new beginnings like death and rebirth for your energy. Yeah, lioness, you've earned all your stripes. Let them go. I see that you've let all that go. Three of Wands, and you've made room for new things to come in, for your ships to come in. So we got the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups. So it doesn't matter how long it's been. The, it's like as soon as you let this go, this person is like automatically trying to come back. Clarifying the Knight of Wands is the Four of Wands. I don't know if this person, you used to live with this person or you shared a home. For some of you, you could have been married to this person. It's like this person wants to come to your house. King of Pentacles, yeah. So some of you could have been married. You could have had children or um, lived together or you could have worked together. You guys shared a, a business or a home together with that Four of Wands. Or you could have went to school together for some of you. I just got an institution. They want to come back. For some of you, this person is trying to get you to get them back into this business or this um, school. Clarifying the page of swords is the eight of pentacles. So yeah, it's they're watching you, your work. So I don't know if you guys work together, used to work together, but they're watching your work. They're spying on you at work. or Yeah, four cups. They act like they're disinterested, but they're not. So this person may act disinterested for cups, but they are spying on you. They may ignore you at work or act like they don't see you or whatever they go out of their way to act like they don't care but they're really spying on you over on g's ace swords truth so you're about to get clarity on all this i don't know why this is relevant <laughs> there could be somebody new spying on you at work as well someone has their eye on you that you may not notice you don't notice this person Whoever this person is at work that's spying on you or that's watching your work, you don't notice this person, Four of Cups. You're not seeing them. But they're about to be made clear to you with this Ace of Swords. I feel like this would be a good business partner for you. Not the person from your past, but this new person who sees your work. Because I don't know if you like work online or something, but someone's spying on your work or they're spying on you at work and they want to work with you. I feel like this would be a good business partner. It may be a short term thing with this Knight of Wands or this partnership allows you a lot of freedom because that King and Queen of Pentacles, that's a long term, stable, dependable energy. So this career or this living situation could provide you a lot of freedom. with the knight of wands so it's a good mix of dependability freedom honesty too. ace of swords and then the behind that's the six of cups so yeah someone from your past is lingering in the background as you're going towards this new opportunity and then we have the tower aries there you are and temperance sagittarius and we have judgment someone wants a second chance this is like background energy for this person it's like you're celebrating this ending. You feel free. I'm getting a very freeing energy from you on to new experiences, new job opportunities, new things. And then there's this person, six of cups, five of cups from the past, who's watching your ships come in, three of wands. And they're, they're upset that they missed the boat or that they can't enjoy these things with you. Because I feel like you've let them go and justice is being served and you're just chilling. And I feel like maybe karma is being dealt at this time. But... Despite that lingering in the background, I feel like you're going to get news of this in the physical. I, I feel like you're going to get news of this. But anyway, there's a new job opportunity or partnership in regards to career. Yeah, some of you may even um, get a actual physical headquarters or business or studio with this person where you guys can work together. But for others of you, you could be partnering with someone at work. So if someone at work has their eyes on you or someone has their eyes on your work and they want to work with you.
but I feel like it'll be very freeing. It won't feel like you won't feel stuck. You'll actually feel free in whatever this is. This is a great partnership. It could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with that King, Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. It's making me think of someone very stable. For some of you, that could have been an, um, an ex who was a player, earth sign. You know, it's going to be different for everyone. It's going to vary because it's general. So put it where it goes for you and pull. But yeah, I see two energies here. And it doesn't matter what gender is what. Okay, put it, flip it, reverse it. <laughs> All right, for Aries. You know what? I think I might pull the signs today. I think I might pull the signs you could be dealing with. Just because I know people like hearing it. Wildflower, renewal, romance, awakening. So someone wants a second chance, but I feel like you have a new option. So I feel like you have a past option and a new option at this time. But I feel like you're done with the past, but it's going to be different for everybody. Teacup, ease, rest, small mind. Like I've been overstating since the beginning of the reading, you have nothing to worry about. You're not meant to do anything but sit back and watch it play out right now. Hedgehog, vulnerability, hiding the heart, tenderness. So I do feel like there's someone at work or someone who's spying on your work and who's afraid to come forward. You don't notice this person, but they watch you work very hard and they, they admire that. They're a, little, they're a little scared, a little shy to come forward, but they will, Ace of Swords. They're gonna tell you. It may be around the same time um, I don't know. I feel like this person may speak up first and then this ex comes back. I feel like it's going to happen around the same time. Overall energy is chicken, the cackle, ancient past lore. So, yes, yeah, someone you have history with um, or you have kids with or way from way back when in your past. This person's going to come back from your past. And then there's this new person at the same time. You're not meant to do nothing but sit back. All right. So, I'm. Oh, the signs, the signs. Let me grab the deck. I didn't get to pre-shuffle this because I wasn't planning on using this. So y'all gonna have to sit with me through the pre-shuffle. Okay, per. No, I have to, I shuffle it six times, then cut the deck. And then I'm gonna shuffle it three times. So bear with me to I think that was six, but I'm gonna give it an extra shuffle. And then I cut the deck and then I'm gonna shuffle it three times. This is what I do before I um cut the camera on for each sign. But it's tedious, so I'm like, I don't wanna do it on camera. All right, now three shuffles. All right, so signs that Aries could be dealing with, and this could be anywhere in their chart. Cancer, <laughs> Aries, Libra, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with any of those signs. You may want to go check those signs out to get a, um, a wider view. But I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.